Hi guys, Keely here and today I'm bringing you just a sort of a, one of my basic tutorials as I'm going to be trying out the P. Louise base and seeing if I can get my eyes to really pop. I've done a bit of a fake tan so I'm going to go in one of my darkest shades today uh, which is the Soriva I think Authentic Skin and it's a natural luminous foundation and I'm going to be using this in the shade 190N Generous. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is before I go with concealer, I'm going to use the P. Louise base um, and just place it all over my eyelids. It's going to be quite light because I faked hand, um, which I don't usually do and I wasn't planning on doing, but I thought, I thought I just needed to. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to now be doing is I'm going to be going in and um, putting a base on my eye using the P. Louise base. This is 0 0.5. Now, I'm not usually tanned. But I thought I'd fake tan and so it's going to be a little bit too light. But I think by the time I've done it and done our eyeshadows and dabbed over my foundation, it should be all right. Um, I am looking a little bit yellow and orange. But I'm hoping once concealer's all done, we should be um, blended pretty well. I'm just going to go in um, and just do the crease with a transition colour. I'm going to use... I'm going to use Creamsicle from the Jaclyn Hill um, Morphe palette, which is just one just here. Just got it on a fluffy blending brush before. I'm just going to make sure it's all definitely dabbed out, so no creasing. And just going to lightly, lightly stamp it on, and then just blend it out. Okay, so I think I'm going to go for a. Um, green look so i'm going to go back in with the crease with i'm going to be pretty much using i think just the japan hill morphe palette um with the jada green just here it's kind of a bit of a till green and so yeah i could put that in my crease and then um, just blend it out okay so i'm now just going to darken the outer corners using the color enchanted just down here. It's a really dark, dark green, um, but it should look nice. Okay, so I'm now going to put the P. Louise um, to the inner corner of my eyes and try and carve out a little bit of a cut crease. So using a mini packing brush, I'm going to go in with this pool party colour and pop that on the bits where I cut the crease with the P. Louise. So I'm now going to go with my concealer and for this I'm going to be using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Swan. I'm just going to place this corner, or underneath my eyes in the corner, a little bit up here, mouth to brighten it up a little bit and on my chin and then in the centre my forehead, down the bridge of my nose. And I'm just going to blend it out using my um, Tarte Beauty Blender. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of light contouring using the Kevin Kwan Skin Enhancers. I've got the shade SX12 and SX14. I'm just going to mix them both together and then just apply it to my cheekbones and down my nose. And I might put a little bit on my um, forehead. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my forehead and under my eyes and my smile lines using Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder and um, I'm going to use a sponge for this and then for the rest of my face I'm going to see if this will work, it's a bit light, it's my um, MAC Light Plus Mineralize um, but it just gives a really nice finish, if not um, I will come back and show you which powder I might use. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the uh, MAC Mineralize Skin Plus. 
and just powder the face. Okay, so I'm just going to apply a little bit more like kind of contour bronzer colour, um, which is the, I'm going to use the Ted Baker Bronze Brush and Highlight Palette. I'm going to use this colour here. Just because after powdering down, I do feel like it dulls down the um, cream contour ever so slightly. Okay, so I'm now going to go with some highlights and I'm going to be mixing two. I'm going to be mixing the Obs Makeup Obsession Mega Destiny Highlighter. That the colour is Mega Destiny, I believe. And then the Guerlain Highlighter in... I don't know what colour it is and it doesn't have the colour on there, but broken it's got to be careful but it looks like that I'll do a little swatch on my hand for you do that don't know if you can see that just there it's lovely I'm now going to go and do my eyebrows using the Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 3. I'm then going to go through the eyebrows with the Benefit Gimme Brow uh, Plus in the shade 3. So I'm now going to go in under the eyes with that Jada colour, just here. And brush under the eyelashes, and then I'll go in the corner bits with the Enchanted Green, just down here. Okay, so I'm now going to do my inner highlight, and for this, I'm going to be using the Imagination Highlight to the Moon palette. And I'm going to go in with the colour Angel Face, just here. It's got a, um, a yellowy hue to it, I think it'll make it really pop. I'm now going to go with some blusher and for this I'm going to be using the Topshop Shimmer Powder Blush in the shade I'm used. I'm going to look at my nose and I just like to just blend it through the forehead and on the chin. I am now going to apply some um, eyelashes and for this I'll be using the Charlotte Bailey Beauty eyelashes and this is the um, Style Daisy. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply some lip gloss. I've done the eyelashes, sorry, and I blended them in with my lashes using the Lancome Hypnosis Mascara. And yes, yeah, so I'll just pop on some lip gloss and this is the Revolution Lip Gloss in the shade 3. Keep it nice and neutral new because I've got a bold eye which I wasn't intending to do but uh, it's how it kind of came out. Mm. I actually forgot we need to do some setting spray so for this I'm going to use my Max MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Okay, so this is the finished look. Uh, Peter Wee's base is really good. Um, it's a bit different to using what I usually use, which is the uh, white uh, corrector, which is more like a concealer base. But it just looks really good. Um, so it's supposed to be a basic eye look, but a little bit more than basic, I think. <laughs> but I'm really happy with it. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching.